Now, Mr. President, yesterday's senators voted on an overwhelming bipartisan basis, 91 to 8, to advance critical legislation granting the administration more of the policy tools it needs to hold Iran accountable for its actions. We must now keep working toward final passage. The bill makes clear that Congress recognizes that Iran's aggressive behavior and efforts to expand its revolution across the broader Middle East must be stopped. <clears throat> Unfortunately, the Obama administration's desire to draw down our conventional military presence from the Persian Gulf and Iraq created the self-defeating imperative to avoid nation-state conflict at any cost. And they were reluctant to take any action, any action that might upset the joint comprehensive plan of action, in other words, the so-called Iran deal. They kept this hands-off approach even when Iran supported terrorism and Shia militias, and even as they harassed U.S. ships at sea, actions that were not part of the nuclear program or the Iran deal. Advancing this bill makes the logical point that our nation needs a comprehensive strategy to deal with all areas, all areas of Iran's aggression. It will give the current administration more of the tools it needs to take a stronger approach than the previous administration. It includes new mandatory ballistic missiles sanctions, new terrorism sanctions, and a mechanism to ensure better enforcement of the arms embargo. These sanctions represent another key measure that we can take now to keep American families safer and to support our allies over in that region. So I want to again note the broad bipartisan support this legislation has already received and encourage my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to continue working together so we can pass it.